So this is a huge surprise. I did not know this was coming. I literally seen it two days ago and here it is. We have the new Jack Wolf After Hours with a bolster lock. Oh my goodness. Now I've already filmed this video twice, but I was just entirely way too crazy and excited that I don't think it turned out very good. Uh, my camera picked up a lot of crazy screams and screeches, so I just, I'm just redoing this. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more calmer. I'm super excited about this. This is exactly what I told Ben he should have done. Like this is, this is exactly what I said. You know, um, if you guys don't know, the Midnight Jack is like my favorite Jack Wolf knife that doesn't lock. And he already did the gunslinger, but the gunslinger had a clip point. And I said, man, I wish you would do the same thing with like the midnight jack or, you know, just make or make one with a spear point. This one has the sheep's foot. Woo. But I absolutely love the midnight jack. Like I said, it's one of my favorites because it has such an easy pull and the hollow ground sheep's foot blade is so, so nice. Now I have went back and forth on what my favorite is, but I always go back to the midnight jack. Now here is one in a bigger locking form oh my god and it's exactly the same like they have literally everything the same you know from the blade shape the way the grind is the bolsters the coffin shaped handle um now you know because it's bigger it's even more ergonomic the deep hollow ground s90v blade is look at that it is so so thin i measured this one about 14 15 thousandths behind the edge but it is deep like it stays that thin moving up the blade quite a bit amazing geometry i'm very happy with that um, now it does have obviously two forms of deployment we'll check that out here in one second bolster lock as you can see full titanium backspacer titanium milled pocket clip t10 pivot t8 hardware all the way around so this one has the acrylic but as always you know there's going to be many different versions i believe there's a purple fat carbon fiber a blue fat carbon fiber and some other options let's talk really quick about s90v so s90v steel is a steel that it's one of the best steels you can get on a pocket knife so the fact that ben is using this steel is a huge huge thing this is an absolute super steel it takes a ridiculously sharp edge especially a medium grit edge because it holds and has a lot of bite it's a high carbide steel so can you put a mirror polish on it yes you can you absolutely can and it will hold it pretty well um i've actually you know tested it with a polish edge a few times and it works well However, with a medium grit edge, even better. And I mean, like it just, it has so much toothiness to it. Then it holds that toothiness for an exceptional amount of time, like such a long time. And with this type of handle and blade shape, this thing, because of the geometry, you know, it's so slicey, this thing's gonna stay sharp for a very long time, especially after, you know, you put, you know, um, a properly sharpened edge from a stone on it, which will increase the edge retention a lot. Um, you know, maybe remove any burnt steel or anything like that, that, you know, that all blades are susceptible to. Um, then you can get into some really good steel and man, this thing will hold an edge for so long. And you know, S90V is a stainless, so, you know, you don't have to worry about corrosion as much as with some other steels, but you still want to take care of it. But anyways, yeah, such a good steel. And then, like I was saying with this handle, you know, this is a, a handle that makes it to where, like, say if you wanted to, to grab a strap and cut it, because this blade tapers down, like, you notice the spine is straight, but look at the edge. It tapers down. So when you're holding it like this, you see how it's like aiming? It's almost like a recurve. You can get insane cuts with this thing, you know, where it's because it's gonna trap it. It's gonna trap it in. And I already know that because I've been testing this one. So, you know, I haven't cut with this one yet. This is, you know, I've, I've just unboxed it, but I know. Um, and you know, with the ergonomics, how you can get up nice and tight to that edge, it is so comfortable. Pinch grips are gonna be amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, this thing is, is made to be used and it's very obvious. It has all the details of a great user and you know, a great fidget knife. It's got the looks. It's literally got everything. Now, the front flipper and fuller work so, so good. Um, you, this is such an, I can, I can reverse flick this with my pinky. <laughs> That's how easy it is to reverse flick. One more time with the pinky. 
so easy. Um, so this is a fidget knife. Uh, very easy to use that fuller with the reverse flick. You could do it with the nail or your finger, doesn't matter. The detent is a little bit on the lighter side, which we'll talk about that here in a second. The front flipper, I'm usually not a fan of this jumping on front flippers unless if it like goes up and around, you know, on like a little front flipper like this, but this one works so good because this jimping is very catchy. Like, like it is perfect jimping. Like if you slide your finger, it's gonna stop you. So great jimping um, and it just, it works so good for the reach over for the thumb flick. Nice snappy, snappy front flipper and you can do the side finger. Now the thumb flick, you're gonna have to slow roll it. You can't thumb flick it. I mean, if you do, you have to go way down here and it just doesn't feel comfortable. So it's a reverse flicker. Now, access to the lock bar, they, he did not cut it out on this side, but he did chamfer two little chamfers on there. And I will say it's actually very comfortable and it works very well. I do usually like more access, but this one's comfortable and it works. The drop, I put a little oil on the detent ball. Actually wasn't even nowhere near this smooth in the first video I filmed, but my goodness is it smooth now. Putting a little detent, a little KPL heavy on the detent ball and then the, um, the ceramic bearings, whoo. This thing is damn near false shut. Like it's a, a, a light shake shut. You know how there's like a shake shut and then there's a light shake, meaning like you barely put in the effort. That's the way this one is. So very, very smooth. Very happy with this action. It is so, so good. Um, and I, I love the style of this knife. I love the look of it. I think it, it, it pops, um, gorgeous looking knife. Um, even down to like these little lines right there, you know, adds a nice little flare. Um, the backspacer is not the stop pin. It does have internal stop pins. Um, it almost seems like it's the stop pin, but when you really look, you'll see there's a gap in there. So now there's been a video going around of a guy spine whacking all kinds of knives from all different companies. And I, uh, you know, it makes me kind of feel bad because I always did spine whack the knives. Now, recently, I haven't, and it was just because all the knives I was spine whacking, 98% of them were, weren't failing. The ones that were failing were like certain locking systems, and those ones I would always test, but I didn't test everything. And it seems like a lot of frame locks and a lot of liner locks recently have been failing from all different companies of all different price ranges, even the best companies. So we're gonna start spine whacking every single knife from now on because I feel bad because I, I do feel um, responsible because I feel like if I was doing it more often, I would have caught some and would have made the company do their own testing and checking before they gave them to you guys. So, you know, um, am I bad? And, you know, it's something I'm gonna make sure I do from now on. And, you know, there's nothing, I, I can't do anything about what's already happened. I can only say that, you know, from now on, I'm gonna make sure I check it so that when we do get them failing, we can say something, make it a big deal so that the companies start checking it from the factory so it doesn't happen to us. Um, anyways, uh, let's talk about some nitpicks really quick because there are a couple. And I do wanna say really quick that I think that this is the best one yet. This is my favorite one by far. Uh, because one, I love a locking knife more than an unlocking knife. And this was my favorite slip joint version. So it goes without saying that I am going to absolutely adore this one. So I do think this is gonna be the most popular knife design yet. I, I definitely think that. This thing is, I hope he made a lot of them. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I think these are gonna be very, very popular. Now, my little nitpicks. One, the front flipper. I wish, this little corner was knocked down from here to here. Like there was like a little scoop right there so that this little corner wasn't there. Because when I do the side finger, I can feel myself hit this corner every time. So my finger goes over that, this little corner. Is it a big deal? No, I can still do it. But if it wasn't there, it would be even more comfortable and would be even better. So it's not a negative, like it's a bad thing, but it's something that if it was changed or if it was done, it would be even better. And those little fine details, you know, can, can really make a knife stand out. So that's a little tiny nitpick. It, it's not something bad on the knife. It's just something, you know, it would definitely feel a lot better when you do the reach over. The next thing, the clip. While the clip has plenty of spring, the ramp is good. 
I said this about the, the gunslinger jack too. When I wear my thick jeans, when I slip it in the pocket, it goes all the way up to here and then I can't get it all the way in. Now that's on the perfect jeans. That's the name of the brand that I'm talking about. Um, I absolutely love them. I do think that they are the perfect jeans. They're very stretchy, very thick jeans. So the pockets are like twice as thick as normal pockets. So for 90% of people, this isn't gonna be a big deal. And to be honest, all my other jeans, they, it slides in and out all the way just fine. But for my thick jeans, it goes all the way up to like right here, and then it, it, it's very difficult to get it the rest of the way. So I wish it was just a little tiny bit taller so that it did fit in those jeans a little bit better. Can I still carry it with those jeans? Yeah, absolutely, but it'd be nice. Um, the next thing, you know, I already said I wish this was cut back just a little bit. Now, is it that big of a deal? No, because it is very comfortable. And, you know, that's my biggest gripe with lock bar accesses. Is it easy to get to and is it comfortable? And this one is. But if it had a little cutout right there, it'd be really, really cool. Um, so I do want to talk. Let me finish the nitpicks and I have something I want to bring up. The, the, the gunslinger you know, was you could use it left or right handed because it had a reversible deep carry clip and it had a replaceable filler tab. This one does come with a, a, a slip so you can take the clip off and just use it as a slip if that's your, use it as a slip if that's your thing. Um, I think most people are gonna carry it on the pocket clip, but it'd been cool if they did put the filler tab in there. I don't see one, maybe it was, I, I don't see one so I don't think it comes with it, uh, but Maybe he'll do, I don't know. Maybe he'll have some lefty virgins. I have no idea. I don't think so. But I, and personally, it's not a big deal for me. But for lefties out there, because this thing is so good left-handed, I mean, it works really good left-handed. <laughs> so I kind of feel bad, but it doesn't look like there's going to be a lefty version. So uh, at least the clip's not going to be reversible. You can still carry it. You're just going to have to carry it with this, with, you know, the righty clip. Not a big deal. So um, I personally wouldn't even care that much about that if I was left-handed. I don't know why people do. Just, you know, care. I mean, I don't know. I guess people are worried that if it opens up in the pocket, you know, it doesn't have the, the seam of your pocket stopping it. Now, one last thing. I do kind of wish the detent was just a little bit stronger. You can hear it. So it's not too light, but it is definitely on the lighter side. Now, if I was going to increase the strength, I would do it by a tiny, tiny bit because I would not want to take away how fidgety this thing is because it's so satisfying. However, if it was just a smidgen stronger, I think it would be even more satisfying. Now that's subjective. Some people probably aren't going to care. And to be honest, it's such a tiny amount that, you know, it could be a, just a variation between different models. You know, uh, you, the model you get might be perfect, you know, because I can't tell you how little bit how little of amount of strength I'm talking about, you know, and if I wanted to, I could easily do it myself by taking the knife apart and increasing the strength of the lock bar because it would be such a small amount that I would increase it um, that that would be very easy to do. Now, that being said, I'm probably not going to do it uh, because it is still so satisfying. So it's not to the point to where I'm going to do it, but it is to the point to where I at least I'm going to bring it up and say, you know, the detent is on the lighter side. Uh, but, you know, that could be your preference after you get it. Now, as far as any other nitpicks, I can't think of anything else, man. The, the plunge grind is perfect. The grind's amazing. The, the, uh, this thing is absolutely badass. I freaking love this thing. And Ben is such a good dude. Such, such a good dude. Um, I, I can't say this enough that if you ever get a chance to go to Blade Show, go and meet Ben from Jack Wolf's Knives. Go and shake his hand and talk to him. Uh, because I think if you do, you would want to buy his products even more because he is just such a stand up guy. He's like the, the, like you meet him and you feel like you've known him forever. Like he's that, you know, those type of people, you know, and he's such a friendly, uh, warming guy that it's like, you know, you just, you feel like you could talk to him about anything and you know, he's just such a good dude. You know, he's a good old boy. And like I said, and the thing is, is that when you buy some of these knives, especially expensive knives, you know, you like to know that you're supporting a good maker. And sometimes you are paying for the maker or the designer or whatever, right? You know, sometimes that's what you're buying. And in this case, I am, you know, he's such a good dude, man. I can't say that enough. Um, so I do want to say one thing. And I'm hoping that Ben doesn't take this the wrong way. And I hope he's watching this right now because I'm going to show you guys a design that I have coming. 
So, I have a knife design that's very similar to this in some ways. Not all, but I remember, I just seen this two days ago. This knife design, I, I started, I've shown to companies months ago. So I'm not sure if it's 100% gonna be done, but it seems like it's it's one that I'm gonna be working on. And just to show you guys really quick, I've never shown this on the channel. So if you've made it this far, then you're getting a sneak peek. And like I said, I'm not sure exactly when or what company's gonna do it, or at least I'm not gonna disclose it right now. But if you look, it has kind of the coffin shaped handle, the same fuller. It has a lot, it, it, when it's closed, it kind of looks the same. So I just don't want Ben to think I stole a shit because I didn't, I did not steal it. I did that months ago. Uh, but I do think it has some similarities to this. Um, but anyways, Ben, man, this thing is so dope, man. And to everybody out there, man, this is, this is a winner. This is a good one. And I'm so glad, I am so happy he did this before the end of the year. Because this is absolutely going into knife of the year. 100%. It has to. Um, yeah. Anyways, there you guys go. Work hard. Stay tough. Until next time, peace.